Are you getting married and don't want to wear a wedding ring? Aloha, I'm Hawaii wedding officiant Kim Cronella on the island of Oahu. And I have had quite a few couples, especially couples from other countries, come and they don't exchange rings. It's not part of their traditional customs to do so. There are also many people that can't wear rings because of their jobs, such as mechanics, electricians, uh, doctors, surgeons, massage therapists. There's lots of people that if they wore a ring while they were doing their everyday jobs, they could get hurt, they could lose their finger, um, it could cause an electrical um, path to pass electricity to pass through their body. Lots of reasons why. Also, some people just don't like to wear jewelry. It makes them uncomfortable. If you're getting married and you don't want to exchange rings, if one of you doesn't want to exchange rings or both of you don't want to be wearing rings after the ceremony, there are other alternatives. Like you can't, the ring is supposed to symbolize your commitment to one another and it, it's, a, it's circular. It's a symbol of eternity and it's something that you can wear on your person to symbolize the commitments that you're making to each other. Now, if you don't want to wear a ring, there are other alternatives. I officiated a wedding where the couples exchanged symbolic gifts. Um, the bride was given a gold bracelet and the groom was given a belt. And the bride explained, explained to me in her culture that you give a man a belt to help him keep his, his pants around him, to keep his life up. And you give a man a pair of shoes if you want him to leave. So during their wedding, they exchange a belt and a gold bracelet to show their commitment to each other rather than wedding rings. And those are things that they can continue to wear in their everyday life and it symbolizes the commitments that they made to each other that day. Uh, another option is to exchange little token gifts instead. Uh, I've had couples that, um, I actually had a couple who had their wedding rings lost in their luggage on their journey to Hawaii. And so on their wedding day, they showed up and they did not have their wedding ring. So instead, I had them look on the beach, they found shells, and they exchanged shells instead of wedding rings. And then they were able to keep them as a keepsake. Another alternative is to exchange leis. In Hawaii, it is a tradition to wear a necklace or a garland made of flowers or leaves or shells. Uh, there's lots of things that lays can be made from, but they're worn around the neck and you can give them uh, to show your, same thing as a ring, they're round like to symbolize eternity and they symbolize your love and your commitments that you're making that, there that day. So there are quite a few ways that you can incorporate still a symbolism exchange um, and then you would also be able to say vows if you want after you do your exchange of your gifts. Uh, if it's not rings, your lays, your token gifts, uh, belts, and bracelet, whatever you decide on. And then uh, after that is usually the conclusion of the ceremony. So um, it is uh, typically an essential part of the wedding ceremony right at the very end to highlight everything that's happened in the wedding. And then, uh, so it is in, typically in an American wedding an important uh, tradition to incorporate. So consider that if you're not going to be exchanging rings, maybe one of these other ideas will seem uh, like a good one for you and you'll want to incorporate it. If you're get, coming to the island of Oahu and would like to get married uh, in a beautiful, love-centric, personalized ceremony, contact me. I'm wedding officiant Kim Cronella, and I have a website, Weddings on Oahu, with lots of helpful information about getting married on the island of Oahu, as well as tips and resources for couples who just want to have a Hawaii-themed wedding no matter where in the world you are. Thanks for watching, and aloha.